Hey, hey folks, it's Antar and I've got a new black and white battle. Uh, it's an OU battle against a guy I met on Smogon. His username was Infernape3748. And yeah, standard OU match. I'm using my Sam team and uh, he's using a team that kind of looks like almost an exact carbon copy of a Gen 4 team. He's using a lot of the Gen 4 uh, Supreme threats like Blissey, for instance. Um, anyway, we both set up our entry hazards first turn, so that means that's great for me. I get to set up a second round of entry hazards. He's going to go ahead and go for the flamethrower here. I'm like, okay, well, that's probably going to get me down to my sash, and that's going to be it for El Kabong. Um, but I survived with 79 HP, which is especially cool because I he got a crit, so that's actually kind of awesome. I'm going to go ahead and switch at this point into Lila, my Darmanitan, who will be easily able to take out his Blissey, um, I figure. Uh, get hit by a flamethrower, that is not that great. Um, I'm, and he's gonna go ahead and withdraw Blissey, predicting a strong physical move. He goes ahead and sends out Salamence, gets off the Intimidate, and that's obviously going to, you know, considering I'm using Flare Blitz, um, that he's obviously gonna survive. Um, does a little bit over half, and, you know, I take some recoil, uh, and I go for the Rock Slide next turn. Um, super effective, um, sheer force boosted, that crit did not matter, and I take out a Salamence, which is quite excellent, so yeah. Um, his Blissey comes back out, and I'm thinking I can kill it with a, um, Flare Blitz. Uh, actually, I could have killed it with a Superpower, but unfortunately I stupidly went for the Flare Blitz, thinking for some reason that would have done more power, uh, more damage, but that's not true because, um, even with the sheer force boost, um, Superpower was the better move. Or it could have switched out Leela. Anyway, all that happens is that the recoil damage KOs me. Um, and well, I stayed and I've been able to get off two hits almost certainly, so that sucks for me. I'm going to go ahead and send out Ringo here, thinking I'm just going to go ahead and taunt it to prevent it from recovering. Um, he goes ahead and swaps out his Blissey and sends out Fortress, um, so that's not great. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and taunt it, but so that means it's not going to be able to set up spikes or anything, which is nice. Um, and I'm just going to stay in here uh, and just try to do some damage to this Fortress, at least break its uh, sturdy. So I go for the Surf. Um, does a fair whack of damage, about half. He goes for the rapid spin, thinking that I would switch out, but I don't, I stay in. And now I'm back to full health, so this is quite excellent for me. I really don't have anything to fear from this fortress, I don't think at least. Uh, he goes ahead and calls it back, realizing that I have no he has nothing to fear, or I have nothing to fear. Anyway, he switches out Superior. Um, so another po uh, Pokemon badly poisoned, that's excellent for me. I go ahead and go for the Surf, not predicting the switch. I've got the Ice Beam on the set though, and Superior doesn't often run offensive moves. Yeah, I was predicting it to go for the Leech Seed, and I was hoping that an Ice Beam could do a fair chunk of damage. Um, I believe this um, Jellicent is modest, uh, doesn't run max uh, special attack or anything, but it does run a decent amount of special attack. Anyway, his Superior is now down to about health. I'm going to go, uh, about half health rather. I'm going to go ahead and swap out and send out Pazuzu, who's going to resist any grass type moves, because I think at this point he's going to go for a uh, powerful grass type move. I was thinking actually the uh, light, uh, Leaf Storm, but anyway, Pazuzu takes that energy ball like it was nothing, um, recovers a bit, of, a bit more health, and I can go ahead and fire off a super effective heat wave to finish this thing off. He goes ahead and calls back Superior and sends out Fortress, which I just thought was a strange move. I mean, I guess he needed to sack someone, and he thought maybe I was going to run the Hidden Power Ice. Uh, that's really the only explanation I can see, but, you know, lots of Zapdos do still run Heat Wave, um, because, you know, they can. Uh, anyway, get a little bit of recovery. Uh, he goes ahead and sends out his Azelf. I'm going to go ahead and call Pazuzu back and go ahead and send out Mick, thinking that he might go for a Psychic. Um, yeah, and indeed he does, so that was an excellent prediction on my part. He's going to go ahead and withdraw Azelf, leading me to think that it's a, it's a choice user, and he sends out uh, his Titar. So I'm like, well, that's not really that great for me, um, but I'm thinking that maybe after a curse or two, uh, I can do some damage to this guy. Uh, so anyway, he kicks up his Sandstorm, which I think is going to hurt him more than me at this point. I mean, oh, I don't think anyone on this team uh, who's surviving doesn't take residual damage from it, and um, you know he's got that Blissey, so that's uh, certainly not going to like uh, having his leftovers uh, negated. Anyway, he goes for the Dragon Dance as I goes for the. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, as I go for the curse, and so I go off and get up a wish here, thinking that he might kill me on the next turn. Instead, he goes off for goes for a second Dragon Dance, and I'm like, oh crap, this guy is totally setting up on me, and totally could 
um, do some serious damage to me. So anyway, I go for the payback here. Doesn't really do very much at all. Um, and I think I'm going to recover all my health uh, thanks to Wish at this point. So I'm going to go ahead and keep cursing. Uh, he's going to go for the Stone Edge. It's going to hit me uh, really, really hard, uh, considering it is at a plus two. I'm going to go ahead and boost my defenses, just hoping that I can survive another hit. Uh, yeah, and um, so I, again, I get the attack defense raise, whatever, and I'm just hoping that my curses will help me out more than his um, dragon dances. Anyway, all a full bit of cra uh, hacks there. His stone edge misses. Uh, it probably would have taken me out. I'm going to go ahead and call Nick back at this point, and he's going to go ahead and pass a wish off to Uchikoma, my um, Metagross, which is my number one counter for this Tyranitar at this point. Um, get the free switch, it turns out, uh, thanks to my air balloon. Back at the full health. Uh, he's going to go ahead and crunch me, um, but I'm, I'm hoping I can take one, even though he's at plus two, I guess. I'm going to go ahead and go for the agility, uh, knowing that I have higher base speed than him, and knowing that at plus two, I'm going to be faster than him. I'm going to go for the meteor mash and just hope that a 2x effective meteor mash is going to be enough to take out his Tyranitar, and it is! And I'm like, yes, thank you! So now his Tyranitar is down. I'm down to 58 HP, which isn't great, but it's not awful. I'm going to go ahead and go for the Meteor Mash. It misses. Awful bit of hacks on me, so your hacks balances out, whatnot. Um, Flamethrower uh, kills me, and that's bye-bye Uchikoma. Um, his Azulf is actually a Life Orb set, was not predicting that. Uh, and so now I'm going to go ahead and send out Ringo, uh, my Jellicent, and I'm just going to hope that I can do some damage to this guy. Uh, he goes ahead and Psychics me does a large amount of damage, but I got the Cursed Body, which is actually quite nice. I'm um, gonna go ahead and go for the Ice Beam here. I really think I should have recover stalled him out, maybe? I don't know. Um, but uh, I'm down to 80 HP. Uh, I'm not sure what else he's running. Oh, I'm back up to 105, to be fair. Uh, he goes ahead and Grass Knots me. I'm like, I don't know whether Jellison is light or heavy, but I guess it's heavy enough that his attack took me out. So, um, yeah, this battle, is, even though it started off going quite well in my favor, is now swinging around to being more in his favor, and I'm fearing quite a bit. So with no one else to send out, I have to send out my Pazuzu, my Zapdos. He's going to go ahead and Flamethrower me. It's going to hit a fair, fair amount. Uh, I survive with 20 HP, which is 20 HP, which is nice. I go ahead and hit him back with a heat wave, and that is going to take him out. And I'm just hold I'm doing the math in my head. I think that I can survive the residual damage. I do with 5 HP, recover back up to 28, and now he goes ahead and sends out his Blissey. So now I'm hoping that I'm going to be faster than Blissey. I go ahead and go for the Thunderbolt here, um, hoping to take it out, but it's just not enough. Uh, anyway, he decided uh, to soft boil at this point rather than hit me with an attacking move. Um, so I'm hoping actually that I'm going to be able to stall him out. Um, I'm going to go ahead and roost to try to get my damage back. Um, and he is toxic. Um, he do, does have the you know bad bad poison. So I'm thinking maybe I can outstall his. Uh, I can outstall him. He does have one more Pokemon though, so he can at any time switch out. So I go ahead and go for the roost here just to get my HP back. Um, and just, you know, I really, really do not know how I'm going to deal with this Blissey at this point because my Darmanitan is dead, um, my Taunter is dead, uh, you know, I don't think I have any physical attackers that can really do anything at this point. Um, I think actually Zapdos might be my last Pokemon. I wasn't paying enough attention. Uh, anyway, so we both get some recovery action. Um, he hasn't toxic me which, yet, which is interesting because I know he runs the toxic, and so this is quite excellent for me because if he toxics me right now, oh no wait, I have another Pokemon, never mind. Anyway, if he toxics me right now, I'm still okay. Uh, so anyway, I recover my health back. He goes for the soft boiled, uh, and but you know he, his poison damage is just going to keep on accumulating. So I'm just not sure what he's doing because he knows that I can't take him out at even at 50% range. So uh, I really just have no idea what he's doing. Um, here. But anyway, I'm pretty sure that he's going to go ahead and uh, toxic me this next turn. Uh, I'm not sure whether I stay in or what. Uh, I'm at a good amount of health. I'll go for the T-Bolt just to get some damage off on him. Um, and you see, you know, maybe it does a, a 10? I don't know. Now he toxics me, but that's okay because I actually still have my Cleric. I still have uh, Mick on my team. So if I can get off a good switch, uh, then I can then I can uh, maybe get off not only a heal ball but maybe a wish, and that would be excellent. So anyway, uh, just getting more damage with poison. He's getting even more damage with uh, you know bad poison, and I know that he's going to switch out at some point. I take this opportunity. I think he's going to soft boil. I go ahead and send out Mick. 
Um, I'm down to 45 HP after Stealth Rocks, and unfortunately he decides to switch out this turn as well. And his superior is obviously going to be faster. I'm not sure that I can survive any of those hits. I'm pretty sure I'm max special defense at this point, uh, but... I'm not positive. At 21 HP, I very much doubt that I can survive an energy ball, but oh well. So Mick is taken out, and that just sucks. Um, and I was really hoping that residual... Uh, luckily, though, residual damage does take out his superior. So that's excellent for me. His, his last Pokemon is Blissey, and I do have two Pokemon left on my team. I go ahead and send out El Caban, uh, hoping just to stall out a little bit more. I go for the Giga Drain, not really thinking that it would do very much, just you know, to see what happens. I recover back up to 96 HP. He's going to go for the Flamethrower, which um, I, don't, I don't think I can survive. Uh, yeah, and I mean, had that Crick not happened first turn, I would have been able to survive it. Um, but it's really not that big of a deal. He's down to fairly low HP, um, and he is taking lots and lots of residual damage, uh, poison, sandstorm, and whatnot. I'm going to go ahead and send out Pazuzu here and just really, really hope that a T-Bolt is going to be enough to take him out at that range of health. I'm just not sure that it is. I go for the T-Bolt, and I'm holding my breath, and it is enough to take him out, so I all outstalled a Blissey to win the game. So that is always awesome when you get to outstall a freaking Blissey. Anyway, sorry this battle was a little bit long. I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Um, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge folks so long.